Now, when you're on the phone and you have to give out that credit card number, how can you trust the agent on the other end won't use or maybe sell it? On tonight's Consumer File, Debbie Dejanovic shows us software developed by a Lehigh company that call centers can use to keep your personal info under wraps. All it can take is a paper and pencil or a very sharp memory. Every time you give your credit card number out over the phone, you don't know what is happening with that credit card number. From hotel reservations to home shopping channels, orders still pour into call centers to the tune of billions of dollars every year. Call center agents have been caught keeping credit card numbers, expiration dates, and security codes. Some use the information for themselves. Others have sold it to fraudsters. We just have this vision that that's a really nice person. And all too often, they're not. Art Coombs runs Cambia, a Lehigh company that's created software he says curbs agent fraud. It's called Secure Call. The software leaves agents with nothing to steal by preventing them from seeing or even hearing sensitive information. Thank you for calling ABC Taxes. This is Ronnie. How may I help you? It prompts callers to enter credit card numbers using their phone's touch tone pad while the agent stays on the line. You see, the agent never sees the sensitive information. It comes across as asterisks and encrypted. Even the touch tones from the keypad are disguised. And Coombs says the technology removes the chance of your info being used or sold fraudulently. All right, and there is another type of fraud secure called tackles. Fraudsters will glean information about you off your Facebook page and your Instagram account and other sites, and they will call up and pretend to be you, try to persuade the call center to give up even more information. And just last year alone, a study found that for every one call, 2000, uh, so for every one person who calls a call center, 2,000 calls are actually, one in 2,000 calls are fraudulent. Wow. Sorry, I'm going to get that straight. <laughs> we get what you're talking about. <laughs> one in 2,000 calls, fraudulent, scary stuff. Yeah, so the thing about this is, I'm, I'm curious, do these companies have to buy this program or this software, though? Is that maybe what's keeping them from using it? And I think you're right, and absolutely, but it's one step to make people feel much more secure and maybe more willing to give up some of that information as long as they know it's encrypted. That's true. Maybe you could gain more customers if you let them know, hey, this is going to be a lot safer for absolutely. you. Absolutely. Great stuff, Danny. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Danny?